My name is uh, Daniel Kerwin, uh, and I'll be uh, doing the presentation um, today. Uh, and just to give you guys a quick idea of how it's going to go, usually I do this uh, PowerPoint presentation. It's about uh, 15, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on the amount of questions. And then we jump uh, onto the demo board, and then we get into the software to see um, how it goes. So. All right, so prologue. What are we? We're obviously a, a manufacturer of a, a wide range of um, a configurable uh, a controllers, which were designed mainly for zoning systems, although not exclusively for zoning systems. So we can do a lot of different things. Um, it was entirely uh, designed and built within our facilities, and um, it was done so well. I try to keep in mind the the, uh, the uh, wide range of uh, climates we can find. Uh, here in North America. Although where, uh, where we are, we are particularly well positioned because we have very cold winters and very hot and humid summers. Or maybe not as much as some of the other states, but I'm guessing it's kind of similar to what you guys would find here in uh, Indianapolis. <coughs> All right, so uh, our uh, system was basically uh, aims for the light to mid-sized um, commercial uh, building market, and our goal is to bring uh, building automation systems uh, to a much simpler and much more affordable level uh, for everyone. And how do we do that? Well, basically by taking over the entire uh, climate control of your building. So when we say light to mid-sized uh, commercial buildings, we mean banks, drugstores, uh, office spaces, schools, uh, medical clinics, uh, dental clinics as well. We've also done a number of uh, car dealerships as well as uh, town halls. So just to give you guys an idea of the, the typical job where a pro line is a real good fit. So, uh, let's All right, so um, our line of controllers, it's basically designed around the uh, air handling unit as well as its uh, VAV zones. And when we talk about um, air handling unit, we refer to the most common types, such as rooftop units, heat pumps, uh, fan coils, and other ventilation systems. Uh, for the heat pumps, we have a air-to-air, water-to-air, and water-to-water. -water. So we've got basically all the bases covered <coughs> for that. Okay, so when we're looking at the zone controller, which is this guy right here, <coughs> Let you guys pass it around. So, uh, with our zone controllers, uh, it can be uh, standard VAV or pressure independent, so pressure dependent, pressure dependent. And we have outputs which can uh, control um, at different times, uh, at different types of uh, thermal heat, such as a, a duct heater and or a baseboard. And the baseboard can be hot water or electric. We do radiant floor heating. Uh, we also do uh, unit heaters and other uh, uh, standalone um, heating or cooling equipment. Um, this is an example that we actually have in our warehouse. It's just like a, uh, a, a gas powered heater um, in the warehouse, and it's just being controlled by that thermostat on the wall. So. We do central humidifiers and, and boiler rooms. So when we're looking at, at, at our system, basically what's the architecture of our system? Because obviously it's a, a communicating system. So all of our controllers can be standalone. They do not have to be networked. Every controller can be on his own, and if he has a few sensors, then he can do what he has to do. However, if ever you had a bunch of standalone controllers and you decided to network them all together, then you could, let's say with the rooftop unit, uh, just using a simple two-wire bus, and you can have up to 127 controllers on a single network. Um, also, if you add this guy right here, he's the network controller. He's what allows us to uh, connect our, uh, our system on the internet with uh, an IP address. <coughs> and we have a feature which came out about two years ago called Prolon Live, 
And with that, uh, you can access your system. If it's on the internet, you can access it with any um, smartphone or any tablet. Uh, it's just like a, a mobile site which is made specifically for that. And uh, basically, you can access it. Um, I mean, it's, uh, you could say at this point that the, that the uh, prologue focus is uh, the uh, configuration software is completely free. There's no fees, no licenses. Just go on our website and you can download it anytime. We also have about three or four different releases per year. And every time there's a new release, you just add on more features. So your controllers will never become obsolete. We're just adding on things. So, uh, so with that, we can do more. And, and the uh, Prolon Live web service is also completely free. All right, uh, we're looking at a bit more specifically at the uh, zone controller. Uh, okay, so it's, it's basically a microprocessor based uh, MPI control loop. We use uh, Abelimo's uh, Smart Halomo actuator. Uh, what's special about this actuator is that it is not floating nor is it modulating. It's actually it's a communicating uh, actuator. We actually have a Belimo chip on our card which communicates with the actuator. So uh, with that we can know at exactly what position the, uh, the uh, actuator is at. And uh, we also have a, a, a reset, um, whereas uh, every time you go from, un uh, from occupied to unoccupied, uh, basically your damper is going to fully open and fully close just to make sure it knows where his minimum and his maximum is. We have um, configurable outputs. Uh, I guess here it's important to say that's configurable and not programmable. So it's a uh, dedicated outputs. Uh, our outputs are also uh, fully uh, uh, protected with um, uh, PTC fuses. So basically, if ever you're wiring it and you make a mistake, you do a short circuit, you put 24 volts on the, on the communication bus, that's okay, it's all protected. It, it will not break. Just don't put 600 volts on it. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. that, we'll break, we'll break it. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> And down here we have the T1000 and the PLRS. Uh, the PLRS is just a basic um, analog room sensor. And the uh, T1000, which um, other than having a really cool name, uh, it, he's, he's um, a bit more special because uh, he's, uh, he's not only a, a room sensor in the sense that he sends the room temperature and the set points, but you can actually access all the configuration menu uh, of your VAV controller through its digital menu. Now, how how do we do this? You might ask. I'll just show you guys quickly. It's kind of a, a little trick that they come up with. So, if so, obviously, if you just want to change the temperature, it's just kind of like an iPod where you just uh, kind of go around like that. And if you want to enter the menu, you hold the left side for about seven to eight seconds. Go. Now I'm in my menu, and I can configure my entire zone, just this VAV controller. So if ever there's a problem with the zone, you don't have to uh, go up in the roof and then plug you plug your laptop or go into the mechanical room to plug into the master or whatnot. You can troubleshoot this zone with this sensor on its own. So you, you can uh, override, you can override the outputs. You can, Basically, change everything. Let's right. look at that. All right. Okay, with the M1000, which is our air handling unit, a controller, as you guys can see, it's pretty small, but he can do a lot. So, we have uh, what we call um, application specific profiles. So uh, what does that mean in application specific profile? It means when it comes out of our warehouse, it, it's, it's already been pre-configured to be a rooftop unit or an air-to-air -air heat pump or a water-to-air heat pump. However, uh, these controllers are completely uh, uh, reprogrammable if you wish. So supposing you have a heat pump in your hands, but you'd like to have a rooftop